Okay, fall lineup. Sorry. Take two. Had to do this again. Um, let's see. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. comes back on soon, right? Two weeks. Two weeks. We get uh, Heroes on the 24th, and then the following week, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. kicks up on ABC. Heroes season one. The first batch of, batch of it. I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. I have it on Netflix. I just haven't watched it. Okay. Well, you need to because it's a really good show. It's a really good show. It was a really, really good show. The writer strike fucked them, and that was unfair to the show because it was really yeah, awesome. Yeah, uh, I have a complaint to make. Firefly needs to be back on the air. I've finished that show for the third time like in the last three months. To this day, I mean, I actually Googled it and figured it out last night why it was canceled. But uh, I literally don't understand why that show was canceled. I mean, apparently it was on a dead spot Friday night. Was that Sci-Fi or Fox that had that one? Fox, and it got put on. It got put on Sci-Fi, and that's when it gained popularity. <laughs> but, well, but that's the same thing that happened with Family Guy. Fox canceled Family Guy with the Cartoon Network, and then everyone fell in love with it again, and then Fox bought it back. Yeah. Fox, you're an idiot. You also canceled Space Above and Beyond, which was a fantastic show as well. But I'm not gonna troll on that. Uh, apparently they're making a Firefly miniseries. That'd to nice. try to get, uh, see if, they're trying to see if they actually, well, there's a couple things that went wrong. The first time, they made the pilot. The pilot is like the second or third episode in the actual series of events. Yeah. And then, after they made the pilot, they made two episodes after that. Before that. Like, that precursor mm-hmm. that episode. Yeah. And they aired the pilot, and then those two episodes. That makes sense to you? It makes sense to me. It makes perfect sense to me because it's a science fiction show, so nothing has to follow linear time. But it does when people are actually trying to pay attention to the story and if they want to watch it every week. That was one reason why they canceled it because rather than airing the pilot as the first episode, you should have had the, the first episode in chronological order aired and then go from there. Man. So, so that's, heard it. that's the first thing. Second thing, it, was on, it, was, it didn't get the ratings, and it didn't get the ratings because it was on Friday night. Yeah, you spot. put anything on Friday night. It makes no sense, but you might as well not even have TV on Friday nights. Put a sports game on Friday nights. I'm surprised that Hawaii Five O is done as well as it's done on Friday nights. That that that's a surprise to me. That you have that's a, lot a good of, show. I really I can like tell you show. why. I can tell you why because my dad likes the show. You have a lot of older people who watch the original Hawaii Five O, yeah. and they they try to keep up with it. That's why I watched the original. And that show is like one of the highest rated shows on uh, Hulu. I really like it. I, I really enjoy it. it. It's one of the highest rated shows on Hulu, so that's why. It it doesn't get the views. It's got Tweeter in it. Tweeter? Yeah. yeah. Isn't he gay or what? I have no idea. Okay. Tweeter. <laughs> she looks like she's fell out. I'm going to suck your dick you tree. Yeah, every branch. branch all the way down. Okay, hold this pot. Open your legs. Close your eyes. Just envision, envision darkness and say, I'm stupid. I'm about to get hit in the nuts. Bam! <laughs> they should really change the name of the show to... Funny shots in the nuts. <laughs> God. You know what? You're right, officer. You're right, officer. You're right. Here, hold my beer. There'll be it's no drinking. Go home. And no driving. It's time for me going. There'll be no drinking, no driving. I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going home. And I'm you, going to jail, boys. And you can kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> you and those mount me hats. Mount me. Maybe later, but I haven't had beer. I haven't had enough beer yet. <laughs> Time for Billy Bob to call some dinosaurs. <laughs> I left the hot dog in there for you. Someone give me a beer. <laughs> Paul Walker's first role, kids, if you're not paying attention. That wasn't his first role. It was one of them, but that wasn't his oh. first role. He was young in that. He was young. So young. But that wasn't his first. Anyway. <laughs> I'm curious what his first role was. <laughs> Want me to do that? Yeah, I am DB. Should have the app. Um, keep us going. Um, uh, well, anyway. Shows. Okay. Um, uh, Sleepy Hollow, not for another, like, two, three weeks. I'm fine with that because, first off, we're not going to be able to keep up with all the shows if we have five shows on at once. No, my DVR is going to be, we're, we're going to fall into the same pattern we did last year where I'm going to be a week behind. I know it. I already know it because I'm going to have to catch up on Saturday and Sunday nights. Well, actually, Saturday nights because <sighs> Family Guy's still on the air, so we got that to watch on Sunday. In football. Thank God none of the networks put anything on Monday night, so I actually have a free night of the week to just like kind of veg out my oh, brain. Wow. One of his first things, Love in Dark Ages, 94. I don't I don't count TV shows because these people pop up in soap operas and nobody gives a shit. Who's, in, who's the boss for an episode? 
And in charge. Dead Puck Sunday Society. Dead Puck Society. Dead Poet Society. Puck. It says Puck Puck. P U P K. Huh. I wish you could just. Yeah, it says after. I touched by an angel. There's a couple episodes of that. See, I. I yeah, it definitely wasn't his first thing. I would have to say. Meet the Needles, I do remember that. What year was. Uh, that was Varsity Blues is 99. Yeah, Meet the Needles. That was a movie. I still love Varsity Blues. Meet the Needles. Probably my favorite football movie, but anyway. Um, yeah, Sleepy Hollow, it's good that they're spreading things out this year, because last year I think everything started all at once, and it was just like, shit, I, my DVR can't handle all this. I'm just going to have to not watch TV for a week. But they are apparently they are continuing it, and there's no plans to cancel it this season, so that's Sleepy good for Sleepy Hollow. Hollow. Uh, my show that well, he hasn't watched yet that I absolutely love, Person of Interest, 13 episode final season, this is it. You know what? I'll probably have to. I'll probably binge watch it and catch up on the whole thing in like one, like one, one month or something. That's what we did last year. We waited till we had a break because Arrow and Flash dominates the podcast. Yeah, for all intents and purposes, because we're, we're both balls deep in well, that. Well, Age, Ages of Shield. Can't wait for that to start. That's a big one for us. Just because the way it ended, I'm so upset with the way it ended. I gotta get answers with uh, Fitz and Simmons. Yeah, that that I really do need. God, I need especially that. Simmons. Oh my gosh! Seriously, she got sucked into the gravitron, or the graviton, or whatever, whatever the fuck that is. thing is. Yeah, it's not fair. <laughs> Worst things happen to the best characters. This isn't Game of Thrones. Good characters supposed to be happy. Come on, let them have a little bit of joy. <laughs> yeah, especially after they got everything wrapped up and cleaned up. The Inhumans is going to start their own storyline. Yeah, that's going to be another show, kids. Sit down and get ready to watch that's that as movie. well. There's going to be a movie about it too. It's gonna be fan fucking fantastic. Um, Arrow. Um, was it Daniel Dark? Is that his name? Yeah, that'll be the next major. And they actually got a really high end actor to get playing too. Who they get? Um, I know you've seen him. Uh, he, he he has like two different eye colors. What is the name? What's the name of that? Oh. Hey, cool. he had hey. IMDb. He plays the Black Arrow, right? No. No, I can't think of what he's in. I, he, as soon as you see him... Damien you know, Dark. Damien Dark, I'm sorry, yeah. Movie Pilot. Boop. Gotta love Movie Pilot. As soon as you see the actor, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm I know talking. I know a couple things in, but you probably wouldn't know. Uh, are you gonna tell me, or...? I'll have to slip a little. That's Damien Wayne. Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Hold on. Give me a second. I'm good. You doing I or you? I'm Googling it. Google. He's not Googling himself. That would be inappropriate. <laughs> Season 4 villain. Oh, well, no. Oh, okay. I see what he's trying to tell me. <coughs> he's trying to explain to me who Damien Dark is. I don't need to fucking know. I need to know who's playing that. There, there we go. Got it. Him. Oh, that dude. Yeah. Uh, Neil McDonough. Mc yeah. Oh, he plays an asshole in everything. Yeah. And uh, well, he's good at it, you know? He's good at it. He played, like, literally, Google that dude. He plays an asshole in everything um, you've ever it? seen. There's actually we can actually connect him. We can Paul Walker. Uh, he was in Timeline with Paul Walker, wasn't he? I believe so. I'm pretty sure he was in Timeline with Paul Walker. I'm kind of want to look that up. But, I am DB it. Uh, just you, do you remember his name? McDonald's or Timeline? Timeline, you start in it. Yeah, there are brothers in that too. Food? Yeah, yeah, he's in that too. Okay. Okay, let's. Yeah, it's him. He's in Captain America, apparently. Yeah. All filmography. Oh, it doesn't do it linearly. Okay. Right here. 
Let's see. No, Where? he said he was in it already, but... Well, I'm trying to think. Uh, Red 2, he stands out in... Tin Man. Tin Man. The sci-fi miniseries Tin Man. He played the Tin Man. He played the cop. That's a good one to pick uh, him out Batman in. Arkham. Arkham, apparently. Hmm. Yeah, that was a voice, though. The Guardian. I do remember that one. Yeah. He's one of the uh, teachers with uh, Kevin Cosner. Ah, uh, Traitor. That one. Traitor. 88 minutes. Oh, shit. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Dick. <laughs> it wasn't actually only one movie in Walking Tall, I definitely know that one. Yeah, he was the bad guy in Walking Tall. The guy always plays a douchebag for the most part. He's good at it, though. And more Agent Carter. Is he in Agent Carter? Apparently. 2013, I didn't think it came out in 2013. It was filmed in 2013, yeah. it came out last year. Prototype, Angles in the Outfield. Yeah, he was. He was one of the pitchers. Yeah. He was that pitcher. <laughs> Had the big gum thing on the side. So, anyway. The dude's out there. Dude's done a lot of shit. You're gonna Dark get Man, he's a villain. Nick Fury, apparently there's a movie coming out about Nick Fury. No, that that's a movie that already came back. I didn't see that. Green Arrow. DC Showcase. Probably plays a voice in that. Uh, I can't believe I haven't shown time. I, I know he's in it, but it's... Okay, point is, dude's yeah. everywhere. Yeah, and you know, uh, good, good choice, in my opinion, on the guy to play the next villain. Um, They're doing a good job with Flash this season. Yeah, um, they have to. It's gonna get if you don't follow it and you miss a week, you're gonna get confused because they're doing all like the parallel timelines because of the time. Yeah, Every, thing. Everything is very gonna be very linear with Flash oh, yeah. this season. If very. you miss a week, you miss a lot. Uh, their their bit the villain for this season is gonna be Zoom. Yeah. Uh, they are casting. I don't know who they cast to actually play the character in the suit, but the voice is gonna be Tony Todd. I think we touched on this. Mm-hmm. Who was the Candyman in the Candyman movies? So he's got that, and he was in the uh, Final Destination movies as the Undertaker. So he's got that brooding, darkly, you know, lethal voice. So and you also, you know, I can't think of her name. The woman who plays, she plays in Firefly, um, the one who's the companion, uh, Marcia Barcelona, something like that. Maybe it's she's got a weird name, but she plays in Gotham. And she's like connected to everything now. I like <laughs> degrees on bacon. Gotham. Uh, she's she plays the voice of Gideon. Remember she played Gideon. Yeah. Um, she's in like every like Marvel or DC comic book cartoon based movie. She's a voice of something in that. I'm telling you, I think she has some kind of contract with DC to be an X amount of things that they own. Because like okay, oh, okay, Fox. Because Firefly was on Fox, and then she ended up being on Gotham, which is also on Fox. I think there's some kind of tie in there. That's I, all I'm trying to say. I coincidence. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> coincidence. She was in um Spy. Well, Melissa McCarthy. She, she was only here for like ten minutes. Okay. But uh, <laughs> she's gonna be in uh, Deadpool. Copycat. Good role for her. Yeah. Good role for her. She's usually not one of those characters that has like a lot of action, but. I'd like to see her as a character where she has to, like, kick some ass. She could pull it off. I mean, she could, but she's, she's, she's just not a character that has to do, like, a lot of, like, fighting or anything. She's usually just that strong female support character or whatever, but... Yeah, we'll see. see. Right. Everyone gets typecast, just like Mr. McDonough, who's usually an asshole. Well, I mean, make your money how you make your money. <laughs> and Let's see, uh, Carrie Ellis, is that his name? Always played a villain, except for... Uh, Robin and Man in Tights? Ah, true. Yeah, always played the villain. Always played, the, but he likes playing the villain. So. I want to see Morgan Freeman as a villain. Like a he was really, really intense. Villain. Wanted worse than that. He more intense worse than that. that. I thought he was really good in that. Because Samuel Jackson pulled off a perfect villain in uh, Unbreakable Push. Oh, okay, yeah, that too. But um, I thought it was a good villain in Unbreakable. Was, right. Unbreakable. Uh, M Night Shyamalan's last decent movie. I think the visit wouldn't be bad. No, no, nothing was good. After the village was eh, okay, and I had the village. Figured I think the out idea was good. It. I think the idea was good. That's still like it. I had the village figure out halfway through when they had a greenhouse. The issue you have to go now, fucking buck night. if that movie, if movies nowadays, like a lot of them, they come out like twenty years ago, would have been like Oscar nominating movies because back then people went to the movies to enjoy an entire story. Nowadays, people want 
instant gratification. They want to walk in and be entertained five seconds into it and just be captivated the entire time. They won't just sit down and watch a story. I like to be warmed up, though. Warm me up to it. Start slow. Start slow. Get get through the paces. Get through there. Do some character development. Then beat up the action. Uh, By God, don't do a Fantastic Four fucking thing. Well, Fantastic Four... I thought it wasn't bad because it built the story gradually, and then the, the battle was having suck. The apex, the apex was the worst. Yeah, but they built the story gradually, which I thought was it was building good. Bottle. No. Okay. You know, so I, look at any movie from like the fifties. They built the story, even if it was like three hours long. They built the story. And that's yeah. why those movies did so well. If you took that movie in like Shyamalan. The, uh, the Village. You put it 40 years ago, that movie would have been great because people would have li- paid attention to it every second of it, every detail, and actually just watched it through and, and embraced the entirety of the story rather than each individual See, part. See, I don't. I keep, anytime I sit down at an M. Night Shyamalan movie now, I'm looking in the back seat. Yeah. I'm, I'm, fuck the main character. Well, that's like, true. What's going on. I'm looking We're in awesome. the backdrop for clues because he's done that in every one of his films, and then after I figured out where to look and when to look and how to look for With it, signs then that's all I do. Yes. Okay. After I'm, six I'm minutes, just saying we're in a different era now where it's not as simple as, oh, here's a movie, watch it. Fucking we, we want instant, like, for, I, I got an example. I know a girlfriend of mine Fucking who movie. she can't watch, she can't watch certain movies because if they don't start off extremely entertaining, she's only, she loses interest and doesn't even try. Because we're in that age of like instant gratification we want to be captivated right no it's a story it doesn't always have to be it has to build it has, it has to, to build get somewhere you have to you have to build up to what the climax you know you learn this in like sixth grade a story builds to a climax and you have that hook that turns you in somewhere then you have a build of action to a climax and then it comes down from there then you have your conclusion it's it, whatever but you, well and you, you, you understand what i'm saying though well but the same can be said for tv currently and that's why tv doesn't last as long as it used to like Back in the day, it was nothing for a show to last 10 seasons. It was nothing. It was just yeah, commonplace because, well, because people were in it for the long haul. They were in it for the ride. They enjoyed but, it. They looked forward to it. Now, everyone wants everything all up front. So if something gets to like five seasons, that's impressive. Well, you also have a difference now of during TV shows like say in the 60s or 70s, every episode was an entire story. They use it in time to the next episode, usually. No, it was a small little chunks. For example, heard. like uh, my mother watches Murder She Wrote. Very rarely do you watch an episode of Murder She Wrote that ties into another episode of Murder She Wrote. It's all its entirety story, all in of itself. Yeah, every episode. You know, Madlock is another example. She always watches Madlock because, and the reason she likes shows old shows rather than new shows, is she watches new shows. There's a linear thing going on between episode to episode that you have to keep track of. Mm-hmm. So, and that's why, like for example, Y Five O. I don't watch the show, but there might be a thing where every episode is its own story that does not tie into a grander story altogether. It's every episode is its own story, but there's always something going on in the background that connects the whole entire season together. Yeah, which I like. I like it being strung together like that, and that's why I always enjoyed when I was younger. I enjoyed Quantum Leap because they would do the two parters. They were one of the ones that pioneered the huge cliffhanger season finale. That oh my god, I have yeah. to wait the entire summer to find out what happens next to Al and Sam. I, that's why that show bought me a line series. That's what I want. Keep me on the hook. Mm-hmm. You got me there. You've already had me. You had me at the first episode five minutes in because I love time travel to begin with. See, but it kept me hooked. And just when I thought, oh, man, this is getting a little see, stagnant, it every, built the story a little bit more. Every show on this list, if we were, to, if you, you and I never watched anything, we jumped in third episode of the second season, we'd be lost. Every show on this list, except for this one, doesn't start yet. Or third episode of the first season. That one I think would be all right on. Oh, <coughs> it's okay. It's okay. That I think would be all right. Gotham I think would be all right on. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., there's no okay, way. Okay, let's say. There's no way. I actually couldn't imagine sitting down watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. without having having have watched Avengers or any of those movies. I completely agree. And that's the age we're in, which I personally enjoy that. Not everyone likes that. So... I like everything to be tied together. It makes it so fun for me. Because but then again, I, I do understand the fact that it's just kind of nice to sit down and just watch a TV show. And be done with it. That's why kind of, I don't know, maybe that's why I like South Park, Family Guy, that kind of thing. Because yes, usually once a season they tie a big, huge thing together. And last season was the only time South Park really stretched a joke the entire season with mm-hmm. Lords. Huh. Yeah. 
They they really stretched that yeah, out. Yeah, that was the first that. time they really stretched that out an entire season where there's nah. something in the background. An entire season? They've done it over a couple seasons. With the running joke in the backdrop. Yeah. I'm not talking about the three part episodes. No. Mr. Hanky doesn't count. I know. Neither does Tally. No, I know. Okay. Tom Cruise and the Fudge Packing. Oh, yeah. That went over a couple episodes. They did beat that one, and that yeah. that lasted a couple seasons. Because mm. every time they do it, he's like, "Oh, stop airing that!" Or I'm not gonna let you air my movie box or whatever. Yeah. Like and he does his little crybaby thing. Oh, I'm not gay. Whatever. I'm not gay. Tom Cruise is in the closet. I'm gonna get my gun. I was just standing here, and Tom Cruise is in the closet, and I pull out my gun, and all these bitches start running. <laughs> now uh, I'm in the closet. Oh my god, I'm John Travolta. Oh my god. Oh, the clock. He actually is gay. Who, John Travolta? Yeah. Doesn't matter. He's, okay. still, He's awesome. still awesome. <laughs> He's still awesome. I knew he was gay after he did uh, Saturday Night Fever. Or Disco Fever. Or whatever the fuck it was. Uh, <sighs> yeah, so definitely you're going to watch Arrow. You're going to watch uh, Flash. Flash. You're going to watch Gotham. You're going to watch uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You're going to watch Heroes. You have been commanded. Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, if you're not watching First Adventures, get caught up before it ends because it's fun stuff. If Vixen gets done in the Legends of Tomorrow, I'm really anxious to see Ooh, it. Supergirl. Supergirl. I've got to bring up Supergirl Sorry. on CBS. CBS, not the CW. It'll be on CBS. By the way, and you, if you get a chance, do this before our work show starts. Did I watch the pilot? Yes, I, I gave you the pilot. Did I watch the pilot? Are you better if I gave it to you. I don't know if I watched the pilot or not. Okay. You need to get this done in like the next month. Watch um, Daredevil. Because they have a Jessica Jones show coming out. I've heard about that. Yeah, they have a, a thing called the, the Defenders. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, that was there was rumbling. Daredevil, such. Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, something Cage. Nick Cage. Nick Cage? It's Nick. Okay, Nick Cage. Yes. Um, and they have all these. Not to be confused with Nicolas Cage. No. Completely different thing. Or Johnny Cage. No, not, not that's a completely different thing as well. Yeah. Um. Yeah. They're they're each getting their individual show, and then they're tying it all together with a show called The Defenders. And it's all on Netflix. Yes. Okay. And if you want the episodes, I'll get them to you. No big deal. I but get, I have Daredevil. I just how much have you watched it? One episode. You uh, said you tried. I did get one through one episode nine. Or no, I started one episode then I fell asleep. And it wasn't that the show was boring. I was just literally kicked in the ass. I tell you, it 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 it, it gets good. I, I promise it gets good. Once you I'm start like interested. really get into it, you'll be like, I gotta finish this. It looks I'll, so good. I'll have some time coming up on vacation. I might try to do that. Please do. I would love to actually be able to talk to it, oh. talk about it with you. Before it took me a little while to get through Spartacus too, but I did it. I know. I know. I, I give you props. I got yeah, Spartacus was awesome. So I need to catch God. What do I need to catch up on? Once upon a time. No, not into that. I know, but I am, and I, I want to at least that's, finish the story. That's, that's Once upon a time. Oh, you! Yeah, yeah. Maleficent was amazing. Told you, I it was, was good. flat out amazing. Told you it was good. Happy endings and everything. I loved it. Absolutely Surprise, loved right? it. Was it surprising? I I figured it out, but I yeah, still I this enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it because in uh, Harry Potter, I don't know. I just I I just really liked the way they did it because Jesse's sitting there and she's like, that wasn't. That wasn't the kiss, and I'm like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be Maleficent. She's like, no, it's gonna be the crow. It's like, it's gonna be Maleficent or her father. And but then again, I realized that her father would have never fallen in love with her because he never okay. dealt with her yeah. at all. So it was Maleficent, true love's first kiss. Because kids, let's not get convoluted in this day and age. True love doesn't have to be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or any of that shit. Because quite honestly, I truly love my son. So there's that. So suck a fat dick. <laughs> fucking retards. Your Disney fucking bullshit. What else do we have coming up? There's nothing movie wise except for Star Wars. Yeah, and we're unless gonna see James Bond back there. IMAX. See, we're gonna have like two car full of people. It's gonna be awesome. I don't think we're on bus. Both my roommates we might do that. Both my roommates are coming. Malachi's coming. I work with Malachi. Aaron might come. Well, yeah. Yeah, like Aaron would be in on that. He's it's such a Star Wars. Wars. He's such a Dude, I had a, me and him had a good talk last night. And we've had the same talk. Okay, um, basically here's what it was. I asked him, if, if you have a son, 
how would you have when your son's old enough? How would you want him to watch Star Wars? Um, one, two, four, five, six, three. Okay, why? That's the proper viewing order that makes the most amount of sense to get the most out of the story okay. to have it have the highest level of shock value. Okay, as in one, two, is in one, two made or episodes one and two? No, no, episodes one, two, okay. then four, five, and six, then three. See, I or I'm, then or or five, three, then six. But three and six have to be watched together because I think it gives those two episodes the most. Six by itself is the best, hands Hold down. On. I'm just gonna 